So I think that entrepreneurship is experiencing a rebirth. Um, I think historically we've always been entrepreneurs as human beings. It's just through the industrial age and through the machinations of capitalism that we've kind of coalesced under other people who are entrepreneurs and become employees. The interesting thing for me is just how entrepreneurship has become a lot more mainstream recently. It's not too crazy to think that uh, maybe you will reach a tipping point at some point where the majority of people will consider themselves an entrepreneur. I think we've got some big opportunities in New Zealand. I think specialisation is an interesting one. There's specific areas though that it can be probably even stronger than anyone else in. Um, whether that's relying on existing industries like agriculture and film and building off of that expertise or building on other aspects that are unique here. We've had some great entrepreneurs leading the economy and, and the ecosystem around uh, New Zealand entrepreneurship doing really well and encouraging more to follow them and that's um, accelerating our growth. I think that New Zealand is well placed um, since we are such a small country where we can actually test things out and see, see what works and what doesn't. If you create the space for people to be themselves and be innovative, they will come up with amazing results. We need the smart thinkers, the different thinkers. In terms of culture, I think it's it's definitely more entrepreneurial than most cultures. You know, we don't have the resources of a, of a San Francisco-based tech startup, um, and so you just make do with what you can. And it's just something that's in our DNA. You know, it's the, that number eight wire thing. It has this kind of natural uh, questioning sentiment, and I think that goes back to the roots of the people here. It's this, it's this interesting hybrid mix, I think, of um, cultures that are very close to their indigenous roots and then cultures that left the West in search of a new, a new place to live. I think New Zealand is a really special place because it is a very open-minded culture. Uh, people are incredibly down to earth. Entrepreneurism to me means that we actually harness the ideas that we have and see where we can create niche values in the world and take advantage of the gifts that we have. I think the role of entrepreneurship now is really exciting because we are starting to take into account so many different types of entrepreneurship and I think this tag of social is so important and hopefully one day we won't need it but actually using the efficiencies of business to make change and change in the world around us for good. So I, I see this huge opportunity to construct businesses that are aligned with uh, positive social impact. A key component of being an entrepreneur is innovation and Kiwis have always been good at innovation, right? I want New Zealand to be a leader. It's not a fast follower. We are a leader. Our stock is that. We are, we are leading the world. And I think we've got to be courageous. Uh, we've got to be honest. We've got to admit when we're wrong, but really celebrate what we do well here and, and really collaborate and work with others on, on how to create a more, more beautiful and amazing, awesome existence for us all and for our friends around the Pacific and friends around the world. It's just the idea that you can um, create value both financial and impact in society around you at the same time. I think New Zealand is really, in my opinion, at the starting blocks, but the great news is that they're not far behind. What's the next stage look like? You know, how do you go from one to a hundred or one to a thousand? Apart from it just being an opportunity, I think it's a necessity. I think for us to be relevant in the world and for us to succeed as a nation and become a better place to live, we need to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm.